Good afternoon, folks, and thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to come join us in the virtual tour of 40 Evergreen Avenue here in sunny and breezy Palmetto, Florida. We find ourselves today within Coach House Mobile Home Park, a 55 and older park that is pet friendly here in sunny, beautiful Palmetto. Now, Coach House, folks, we have profiled this community on the channel several times. Great location in Palmetto. Shopping and dining is right outside of the community. If you're a beach lover like myself, about 15, 20 minutes away to Anna Maria Island beaches. If you're a pool person, you have a gorgeous community pool just off the way there. As I mentioned, this is a uh, pet friendly community. So bring your furry friends. There is a dog park here. So just tons of amenities within Coach House. Now 40 Evergreen folks is located in the back of the community. I'll pan around here. Uh, you'll see you get a water view right outside your front window there. Open spaces galore and a one lane uh, street coming right in front of your home so you don't have a lot of drive by traffic. Now, 40 Evergreen is a fully rebuilt one bed, one bath home here with a very motivated seller. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. We'll go over the number section, talk about the price of the home, the lot rent. But until then, we're going to go over all of the upgrades in the property. Before we get started, folks, if you have not yet done so, please. Go ahead and subscribe to us, our channel here in the lower right-hand corner. We greatly appreciate all the new faces and the comments uh, that come through and seeing our community grow, bringing you some of the most beautiful homes in the entire state of Florida. So thank you so much for coming along on the virtual tour of 40 Evergreen. And if you're ready, I'm ready. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the virtual tour here. As we approach the home, a couple things I want to point out. You do have a very large uh, parking space here, easily big enough for two, if not three cars. We'll get to the carport here in a section or in a moment here. It's a newer carport, quite tall, as you can obviously tell. But as we pan around the outside of the home, a couple things I want to show off here. You do have this custom landscaping that goes throughout the entire exterior of the property. Screen and porch we'll talk about uh, here in a moment. But this uh, white picket fence. I don't think we've ever seen a white picket fence on the channel before. It is about the cutest thing around. Uh, if you have a um, if you have a dog or something like that, definitely can let them go outside, roam around, and do what dogs do. Now we do have a fully vinyl wrapped home. It's a newer uh, vinyl wrap here, uh, which is definitely a higher a higher end upgrade. Tons of space around your home here and coach house. You're definitely not on top of one another. That's for darn sure. We do have a new mini split that just got put in a couple months ago. So it's in about $3,000 there. Show that off in the inside of the home. And then we also have a wall unit uh, as well to keep the home nice and cool on a warm day like today. The um, vinyl wrap you see carries all the way over. All new windows as well. New gutter system and new flashing uh, up on top of the gutters. That was recently just put in as well. Let's wind around. The back side of the entry here, that's going to show off our carport. Now, the current owner has it set up as kind of an outdoor hangout space. You can definitely do that. Uh, you can also wall it in, make it another uh, screen in porch, like a living area, or just park your vehicle under it as well. Uh, I don't know if the, the um, camera does it justice, but it's very, very tall. So if you have a truck or a trailer, big van, something like that, you're going to have tons of space there. Speaking of tons of space, uh, 40 Evergreen has nothing but storage galore as well. This newer shed with the power outlet. It's being used for shed things, and uh, the owner is in the process of moving out, so they're using it as a way to uh, kind of store things as they go. But again, newer look on it, real glass windows on it. Very nice shed. Now for additional storage, we do then have the actual storage room that you're used to seeing on the channel. Newer doors on this... Uh, storage shed as well it's nice that the vinyl got carried over in here sometimes you don't see that carried on that side as well too and just another nice sitting area that goes right out to the fenced in patio as we pan around you guessed it yet another shed some more storage space with the washer and dryer units here and some extra shelving. Now those units do work just fine and they are staying with the home. The other thing I'll point out is when they did the uh, vinyl, they redid the skirting as well. So the skirting is all uh, nicely updated throughout the entire home, which is quite nice, gives it a good curb appeal. 
I mentioned before, the drainage system and the gutters just recently got put in and upgraded here. All the water stand far away from your, your property, that's for darn sure. And all the new doors are nice upgrades as well. But take a look on the inside. This is really something. So the entrance, they have it as a home office. You can also make it a guest quarters if you so chose. That's going to tie into your master with a short step. And the dual closets there are quite nice. Now, this gives you a better idea for the exact size of it. That's going to be a queen bed. You have plenty of space on either side with the newer fixtures and the newer windows there as well. Bathroom has been totally gutted to the studs. Updates throughout with a new vanity, mirror, toilet, and then the tower sh uh, tub shower combo in the side there. Another thing you'll notice on this tour, guys, is they did the uh, ceiling. They redid the roof um, all throughout. And uh, one of the other things that's a high dollar item that you don't usually see a lot of a focus on is they removed all the paneling throughout the entire home. They did put up a uh, sheetrock, so it's drywalled all throughout, which is quite nice. Living area is very spacious. Now you'll see the slant here. So this originally at one time was going to be a um, maybe a carport or you know a Florida room. Not really sure, uh, but I'm a taller guy and I'm not coming anywhere close to uh, to hitting my head here. So I'd guess it is probably seven feet on the right and probably closer to about eight feet here on the left. Now this furniture can stay with the home uh, or it can go. Just let us know. Seller is looking to sell it uh, with uh, fully furnished, or you can uh, ask them to remove the items. There's a new mini splint and then the other uh, wall unit there. Short step up into the kitchen. Now this uh, flooring here, as you'll see all throughout the home, this has been totally redone. Subflooring and overflooring has been totally gutted, redone. Again, you'll see the ceiling with the new fixtures here. And just tons of natural light. Good views all throughout here with that side entrance. I pan back around the kitchen, obviously, been gutted from the studs, new cabinets, new countertops, new fixtures, uh, new appliances there and the stainless steel ones. Now all these appliances are going to stay with the home. They are, they are all functional, proper working order, the new sink as well. So just a very, very nice turnkey, fully updated home. Um, a lot of money's been put into this house, that's for darn sure. Most recently, we have the mini split that was done in February. We have a new full-size water heater uh, that was done a few months ago. The gutters, the uh, flashing, uh, those were all done, uh, as well as the drainage system that was done this summer. So that was the most; re those were the most recent updates. And then everything else, as you see, was gutted down to the studs about a year and a half, two years ago. So uh, the closest thing to a brand new remodel that we've seen on the channel in a long time. The storage here, I think, is uh, fantastic. You know, a lot of times you have these houses you see on the channel, and there's there's no storage, or you can't you can't find a place to put your bicycle or you know, your golf clubs or something. Definitely not the case here. And that extra sitting area, I think, is just the just the nuts. So, folks, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. All right, Mark, you're talking about all these upgrades. You know, what do you got going on here as far as the price? Well, we're going to jump into that. But before we do, folks, we're going to put this uh, our website on the bottom. Always go to the website, sellmobilehome.com. That's going to have the latest updates on this home and all the other properties. We are able to update the, that website much faster than we can all the videos. But at the time of this listing, price of the home that we're going to market at is 47000 47000 Lot rent. Lot rent is just over 1000 a month. Okay, so just over a thousand a month on the lot rent, forty-seven thousand dollars on the price of this home for forty Evergreen. So if you're interested in this home or somebody that you know, please give us a call. Send us a text message to the number in the lower right hand corner of the screen. We'll be happy to help in any way we can. Thank you so much for coming on the virtual tour of Forty Evergreen. My name is Mark. You've been with the Mobile Home Dealer, and we'll see y'all on the next one.